Hi, this is Brandon Smiley from ThirstGym.com. Today we're going to talk about an exercise called belt squat marching. It's a great gluten hip exercise for athletes, personal training clients, strength sport athletes, the whole gamut of people. What's really nice is that it provides no wear and tear to the upper body whatsoever. So we don't have to worry about putting barbells on our back or holding anything up here. We're just merely going to use our legs and we can get a conditioning component out of it. And we can also see some benefit on the field. So. What I really like about this particular one, so we have a pit shark, there's various different apparatuses that you can use for this, but what I really like about this system in particular is the attachment settings, the options that it has down here, and then also the fact that we got some band peg attachments down here as well, and the band peg attachments will change the exercise a little bit and make it more demanding. So that is an option that we have. I'm not going to demonstrate that today, and I can potentially show that at a later date. But all we're going to do is we're just going to get in this belt here and we're basically going to march in, in place and then I'm going to talk about what some positives are that can benefit from this when it's done correctly and then when it's done incorrectly, how you're kind of wasting your time. So generally it's going to come with some kind of belt. Whatever you have at your facility, go ahead and use. If you got a pit shark, great. You probably got this one from Spud. It's a really good belt. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take this, hook it up to the very, very back. And the reason we want to hook it up to the back is because we want it to mainly, so when we stand up, we're loaded in the back. We're not having it pull from the front. We want the line of pull to be right underneath us. And then we're going to stand tall. Ours automatically unlatches by itself. That just is going to depend on what you have access to. And what we're going to do is we're not going to hold on to these attachments right here. Okay, this is going to take some of the stability out of the exercise, and we want to work on the stabilizing musculature of the hip. That's kind of the whole point of the exercise is to develop the smaller muscles underneath the glute max. So we're talking about glute me, glute men, um, our adductors, and just a lot of other really good postural muscles in general that are underneath there as well as obturator muscles and all that kind of stuff. So. What we're going to do is we're going to have our feet about shoulder width, and then we're just going to march in place. But as we march, we want to make sure that we're not going to lean side to side. So I want to be here, pick my knees up as high as I can, and I'm just going to walk back and forth until a predetermined amount of time that we have programmed, and then I would rack it. So like I talked about, what we don't want to do when we start getting tired, this is when you usually see this, you'll start to start to lean side to side. You'll see a lot side to side in your client or athlete. Really coach good big knee drive high and really get that feet off the ground and really tax each hip as you step through the gait cycle. So it's not overly complicated. Programming wise, you're probably going to program this for time more than anything else. Anywhere from 20 to 60 seconds is probably the norm for our programming purposes. But, you know, if you got MMA fighters and whatever, you can slap them on here for two, three minutes at a time to help build up some of that endurance that might be a little bit more specific towards sport if you so desire. It's also great for those athletes, like I said, they're banged up and their upper body can't do a whole lot. So you're kind of limited on what you can do from a conditioning standpoint. You know, you may not be able to push a prowler or you may not be able to drag a sled backwards or you may not be able to do med ball slams, but you can march in place relatively easily without having to use your upper body. So give this a shot if you got access to it. It's an absolute brutal money maker exercise from and almost any kind of athlete can benefit from it. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks. Have a great day.